Hi, Haley. Come off mute, please. And let's hear what you've got going on. Yeah, so I have a friend. She's working right now, so she can't make this call, but I'm excited to share the recording with her. She had reached out because she has low iron. And so she's wondering what superfoods could she implement to support with having low iron? Absolutely. So this is a, um, this is going to be, these are, this is going to be amazing for you. Thank you for um, coming on here and having Haley share kind of what you've been dealing with your, with your low iron. So when we get into, so a part of our group and part of our passion here in our regenerative health team is getting to the root cause about what's really going on and why your body isn't absorbing iron because um, you're likely having enough um, or having a fair amount of iron sources in your diet, but the liver is really responsible for you to be able to um, utilize and absorb those levels of iron that you're needing. So um, getting into supporting the liver is going to be your number one friend in this. And the other part of that is that just getting in um, good quality sources of iron that is um, grown in regenerative soil that actually has all the other pieces in there too, all of the other um, beautiful nutrients and micronutrients and things like that that we need. And so um, the power shake would be amazing for you. Um, I can't remember how much specific like iron content is in there, um, but there there definitely is a nice array of of iron in the power shake. And then um, the kid shake also has a really, really nice um, um, some nice iron levels. And so, but when we want to support the liver, we really want to support the liver to be functionally functioning optimally. And so in that case, I would recommend doing a full ULT or a full reset with your body. And so what that would mean would be just coming off of some of the heavier proteins that are, that's um, harder for our body to digest and, and stepping and moving over into more of the amino acids to have that support for our body. And then having um, the micronutrient rich shakes to a day would be amazing just to like flood your body with the nutrients. Um, and then getting as much fruit in there, especially in the beginning of the day. Uh, and that really helps so to support the liver to lose some of the, like a lot of us, a lot of people are experiencing fatty liver right now. And so it's really like, it, it kind of collects around the organ and then it doesn't let it function optimally. And fruit is a really great cleanser and it helps to just remove those excess layers of fat everywhere in your body, um, but especially the liver. Um, and then the other thing would be adding on um, the can't beat this is a great liver support. It's super um, hydrating. It's a really good boost of energy. Um, it has a lot of beets in it, some rhodiola, some other really quality herbs um, that are going to be really beneficial for the liver. So my top recommendation, if you're like ready to go in, would be an ultimate lifestyle transformation plus the can't beat this. If you're, if you're wanting to start a little bit slower, the core, just the daily core floor would be amazing. Plus the can't beat this. Um, so yeah, does that help? That is super helpful. I know that she also explained she's been experiencing some gassiness and like avoids dairy, which is usually the culprit. So I think the ULT is like right on point um, for supporting with that as well. And then I know she also uses like beach body supplements and really likes their pre-workout. And so I'm glad you mentioned adding in the can't beat this. I think that that would um, be a perfect substitute. Absolutely. And just really knowing what our bodies need. And so I'm glad you mentioned that because if supplements are have isolated ingredients, meaning if you look on the back and it says vitamin C, absorbic acid, blah, 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 like coming from this like different source, it means it's grown in a lab and our bodies don't know how to utilize that. It actually causes some damage to our liver to be taking supplements that are grown in a lab. And that, and so everything that we work with are whole foods. It's, it's literal food that's been grown in regenerative soil that's been picked when it's ripe or grown to its fullest um, expression of, of plant life and then vine ripened 
juiced and then wind dehydrated. And so it's all just plants. Our bodies really know how to utilize them like really well. <laughs> um, so much better than an isolated um, source. So if something that you're taking from another company that is made with isolates is actually going to be, um, I would recommend switching over into a whole food supplementation like um Purium because of just that piece. And that alone is going to take some of that pressure off your liver and, and really help you step into um, your liver being able to really have enough um, support to, to absorb the new, uh, iron in your body and utilize it properly. Thank you so much, Rachel. You're welcome, Haley. Okay, I see Kimberly's hand up. Hi, I have a couple guests on today. So um, Divya, did you want to go first if you had a question for Rachel? I know we had talked and um, she had information or was seeking information on what Carrie had shared recently about Hashimoto's. Um, yes, so hi. I have kind of tried, uh, hi everyone, <laughs> sorry. Um, I've sort of tried, um, well, just jumping off of where you stopped with the last uh, Q and A, um, I I try not to supplement just generic supplements as much as possible, and try, kind of try to get everything from my diet, but that can be difficult sometimes. Um, and I've I've kind of tried going on a more or less vegan diet for a while, and it worked really well for some time. But I mean, I live in Canada, and like being vegan can be difficult when you're sort of out and my husband and kids eat a lot of meat. So, um, you know, I was sort of wondering if there's other things other than diet um, that without necessarily supplementing that I can do um, to kind of keep my, you know, for me more, most of the time, it's just I'm trying to sort of lose weight and Keep, keep my weight at a happy medium because um, I have two kids and young kids. So it's it's not always like I can go work out when I want, you know, on any given day. So I was wondering sort of what you guys might have for that. Sorry. It's all good. I got, I've got two little ones too. So I'll be I right <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's all good. Um, I uh, so thank you for sharing. Have you seen any of the videos that that Carrie's done about Hashimoto's and supporting yourself that way? Um, some. Okay, so those would be really good. Well, to go back and listen to. Um, so I I love that you're trying to get your 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 um food from whole from whole, whole whole food sources. That's amazing. Um, I will recommend those. So the, the reason that we all got into this is just learning about soil health and what's actually happening on the root level of like what's going on with the food. So our food in across, well, for specifically in America, but also across the United, across the world are, is deemed 1% nutrient dense. And so we really can't get everything we need from whole, from like the grocery store, sadly. And so this is a big part of the movement that we're on is actually to like bring regenerative farms into like to support them so that they can thrive. So we actually can you know, get more sources that are grown correctly. Um, and so everything that we work with is grown in 100% regenerative farms. Everything that they do is to make sure that the micronutrients are in the soil so that they grow a healthy plant and so that we can eat that plant and be totally fulfilled because we're experiencing a lot of undernourishment and over toxicity. And so the other piece of that is that anything non-organic is sprayed with chemical glyphosate and that's wreaking havoc on our gut. And so um, that's a huge piece. The gut is a huge piece in anybody's health journey, right? Like we need our, we need to be pooping three times a day. We need to be taking in, um, we need to be able to absorb everything that we're eating and utilize it in our body. And so what's happening right now is there's two things, there's two things that happen when we eat food. We either totally digest it fully and utilize it, or it goes into fermentation. And a lot of that is happening. The fermentation piece is happening because we can't fully digest it. Our, our, our digestive systems aren't fully functioning. 
um, because of a chemical glyphosate that actually like tears holes in the tight junction of our, of our gut lining, creates leaky gut. And when that happens, our bodies will, you know, like they do everything that they can given the environment that they're in, but it, it invites a parasitic or candida overgrowth environment because it's not fully digested yet, but something needs to break that down. And so it calls in a parasitic kingdom or the candida kingdom um, that more that will break down the food for us. And so most um, most everybody that's experiencing some kind of autoimmune with whether it be Hashimoto's or different other things going on in the body are experiencing a, some level of a parasite overgrowth in their body or candida overgrowth in their body. And so working on that piece, so getting yourself nourished and um, from the, at that cellular level and cleaning out the glyphosate and getting your gut really on power so it can actually um, digest the food and utilize it properly is number one. And then number two is cleaning out the lymph system. And that um, cleaning out the lymph system will really help after cleansing from some of the um, microbial parasites and stuff, will 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 ensure that you're not going to like that you're not just going to have this environment that keeps calling in the parasitic kingdom right like you can go cleansing all day long but if you don't actually um clean out the lymph system and get your digestion on on power you're just going to be in that same situation where you're just going to have to keep doing these cleansings over and over and over again because you haven't gotten to the root cause which is proper digestion and then that brings me into another piece um because our gut communicates with our entire body about what hormones need to be produced and, and where they're going and what is it doing. And so when the gut is off, the um, endocrine system is off. And so my, I would su highly suggest, I saw that you have a little baby though. So are you nursing? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to just have to do this a little bit slower and you're not going to be on any parasite cleanses right now, but you're going to have to just clean up the gut and work in that way. So you're going to have to like starve off that, that unwanted environment through food and through really getting nourished at the cellular level and cleaning up the gut. So I would highly suggest, suggest starting with a ULT with the kid shake, um, and really getting in, in, and you're going to have the, you're going to get the zinc in there as well. So you are going to be taking in supplements, but they're all from whole food and they're grown in regenerative soil. And so there's, there's really going to be helpful for your body, supportive for your body, and especially nursing. Like I started this journey when I was five months postpartum and I, I was so depleted. I just didn't even know the level. I just always thought like, oh, and when you're a new mother, you just kind of don't have energy or you just feel like this because you, you know, the baby's like really taking everything from you. Yeah. And what I learned is that that's super common, but not necessarily normal. I was experiencing, um, some, some unhealthy gut that was not allowing my body to really absorb everything I was eating. Cause I was trying just like you, like I was trying to eat like really healthy. Right. And so, um, and I thought I was doing a pretty good job, but I still just like chalked up a lot of my stuff, like my gut issues or just being tired or any of the things that was going on, just feeling like that level of like depletion. I'm just like, oh, I'm a new mother. And within a few days of getting this in my body, it was, I was blown away. I was like, I have never felt <laughs> this nourished. <laughs> and um, it was so thankful because I felt like, I'm not going to have to feel this way for the next two years of me nursing this baby. I'm not going to have to feel so like drained. Right. And so that's what actually led me to like start sharing this and just be really called to um, just to let people know that they don't have to feel just because things are common doesn't necessarily mean they're normal. And it's actually this huge soil piece and the chemical exposure piece that that's really causing havoc in our body. And so that is my highest recommendation if that's available to you is to do the ULT plus the, or with the kid shakes, so you're going to get the zinc aid to really support your uh, adrenals. Okay. And then um, what was I going to say? And so, and then, but you're just going to keep the cleanse R piece. You're just going to save that for later, save that for when you're done okay. nursing and you're ready to dive in deeper. And yeah. if you're not quite ready for that level, you could start with the core four with the kid shake with the okay. immune and just do that, like the maintenance plan and just do that every month consistently. And then when you're ready to dive in deeper, you know, do the, um, 
do the cleanse, the reset, the cleanse. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Awesome. Which actually, Christina, I think, yeah, she was still on here. Yes. So, um, she's um, expecting. So this is another person. So in terms of, I, it's very similar to what you're saying, because how we are, you know, guiding people who are expecting a nursing, but Christina, you're 16 weeks. Is that right? Okay. She's saying yes in the chat. So she wasn't feeling great this morning. So she was kind of listen only, oh, but totally. um, yeah, just bad headache. And just, yeah, she had seen, I had shared also something on parasites and Oh, she says her, her microphone's acting up. I see that in the chat. So if there's anything else for um, different or is it pretty much, it's the same, right? And how we're wanting to help expecting mamas. Um, would you speak a little bit into like the importance again on like why this is so amazing when you're expecting because how much you're giving the baby also, which again, for nursing moms too. Um, yes. So Diva, yeah, this is great for you and passing that on on the baby, but like also for when um, our mamas are expecting. So important. So important. I mean, just when you think about those first few years of the baby's life, de their development is, is based on the level of nutrition that they're getting. Right. And so that doesn't start when they're born. It starts when they're in utero. And so just so you know, your baby's going to take ex everything that it can from your body. <laughs> like it really does. So I, I had to kind of take a deep breath because both of my babies were on this side of the world when I knew this level of information. And so I just had to say, it's okay. Like they got what they needed from me as much as I could give them. And now I'm going to replenish myself. And then I'm going to take this in so that it's getting into my breast milk. So all these nutrients can go into them. But when you are pregnant, that's way better <laughs> to start. I will say, um, I definitely wish I do that. So you're going to just want to like really get in this nutrition. So a, it's going to help the alkalinity of your body and everything flow better. And so when you're pregnant, like your body's making so much more blood and it's making so much more, um, it's just, it's just doing so much. Right. And so supplying that with your, this is my little guy who's a superfood lover. He actually like literally eats the chlorella tablets right now. Like he straight up, like puts them in his mouth and chews them and like asks for them every day. And I'm like, Oh, your little thyroid needs, he just knows his little thyroid needs to be supported. Um, Okay. So I'm so glad you're here. 16 weeks. Congratulations. I hope that you're on the other side of like kind of feeling crappy. Um, but I would, so there's two options for you. So I would, it's our highest recommendation that people, wherever they're starting on Perium will start with some level of the, of the trans, like the ultimate lifestyle transformation solely because we've been missing these nutrients for so long. And so it's kind of like flooding your body with the nutrients. It's really alkalizing for our body, which our body needs. Um, our bodies need to be at a 7.4 pH at all time. And if it doesn't do that, or if we're eating things or drinking things that are um, really acidic in nature, it will have to start buffering that. It'll, it'll start creating fat. It will start leaching calcium from your bones. It will start um, creating or like holding onto water. And so that's really important when you're, when you are pregnant to really be supporting that alkalinity of your body. And so the power shake is super alkaline. Everything in, in Perium is very alkaline, but the power shake has a lot of amazing super greens in it to really help with that. Um, so I would say like, if it's in your budget and you really want to start getting in the nutrients, I would start with the ultimate lifestyle transformation, get the amino acids in, which is our building blocks of life. So if you're getting the amino acids in, you're just passing them on to baby to really build and, um, and all that stuff. And so um, that's my highest priority or the highest recommendation. And then you're saving the super cleanse that are for later, just like, or you can give it to your husband or your partner, or whoever, and just have them do the little parasite cleanse um, and, or just save it for later. It's not going to go bad. Uh, I saved mine for like a couple years because I couldn't do it. I was, I didn't do it till, you know, until I stopped nursing him. So, but if you just are like, let me just try this. Let me just bring it in once a day. You could start with the core four. I would highly recommend the immune. It's our zinc and the vitamin A, A C, D, and E. Um, so that's just such a great level of support when you're pregnant is our immune system is, is a little bit compromised, right? And so we just want to support it as much as we can. Um, there's a, a lot of things I would use to support with pregnancy. And we actually have a whole page on like what would be the best for pregnancy, but um, yeah. So like if you just want a quick start core four plus immune, 
Um, if you really want to dive in and get two um, micronutrient shakes a day, two servings of amino acids a day, um, the ultimate lifestyle transformation would be amazing. And you're going to get double of the cherry juice, um, which is great for so many things, but really opening up our kidneys so that we can eliminate toxic waste, eliminate acids from the body and just encourage a healthy lymphatic flow. <laughs> um, okay. So I think that's all I want to say about that. Is that, is that helpful? Yeah, that's awesome. You know, the other thing I wanted to share too, is Jen and I were talking about how um, this new um, ULT with dark berry is going to be awesome for mamas too. So that new ULT that we have, then you don't even have to worry about the cleanse R for right now. You don't have to put that aside. Everything she can take right away. So Christina, I'll send you that. That is um, huge. Yes. Um, Good Good Divya, call. I'll send you that also, like, just because again, there's just options, but with all that dark berry, like the connective tissue, I mean, I just, my babies are 11 and 16, right? And same thing. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, so when they're little, it's easier. When they're in you, it's even easier <laughs> to set them up for amazing yeah. success, ladies. And you so, really, yeah. totally, you're, you're just spot on there. So thanks for sharing that. And I will say like the, the, the food that I craved in my pregnancy, my kids love now. And so mm -hmm. if you can like get it in some like real, so like super greens and really nutrient dense food when you're pregnant, you're literally like the, the fluid in there actually starts tasty. Like they, they like they're breathing that in. it starts to like take on those flavors mm -hmm. and it just, it just sets them up for just a, an easier way. I mean, a lot of my friends are like, Oh, why do your kids eat such good? Like they eat such an array of food. You know, they like eat, they actually like, like my daughter's five, like she'll like eat bell peppers. And it's just because we've, it's like, they're, they're, well, a number one, their, um, their guts have more of those bacteria that thrive on fruits and vegetables. And so those are the bacteria that really help our body bodies communicate and function properly. And so, um, you know, they have that. And so they crave it because it's literally their bacteria craving it. And so I don't know if you know this, but we're, um, 10, like a hundred trillion cells, but we're 10 times that in bacteria. And so when we can, when we can just adopt, uh, this, this level of, um, when we can win our environment back, we like to say, and have the, the healthy bacteria that are fed by fruits and vegetables, we can have that it just helps on so many different levels. Okay. Yes. I, one more Brittany love. Are you, I know she, I have another one who she was getting ready to leave to take a kiddo to a doctor's appointment. So I don't hi. know if she can talk. Hi, how are you guys? We're good. We're good. Hi. Hi. Um, so I don't even know where to begin. First of all, I'm Brittany. So nice to meet you. Thank um, you for jumping on girl. Yeah. Um, so I guess like main thing is, is I seen your Instagram post and it kind of just like pulled me in. Um, I'm just kind of really concerned with my daughter and myself as well, obviously. Um, she was diagnosed with psoriasis. Um, and, you know, of course the doctors, they just want to, you know, put steroid creams and try this, try that. And, you know, I do a lot of research and I love researching and I'm more into like the natural holistic way. And, you know, I, I'm a cosmetologist, so I have some sort of, you know, knowledge when it comes to the skin and the body and all that. So I just kind of knew she needed to be healed from the inside out, but I just don't know where to even start. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just like where I'm at. I don't know where to begin, what to give her. Um, you know, these these doctors nowadays, they just, it's hard to find like a holistic doctor for kids and stuff. So I'm just trying to figure out what I can give to her, what I can start her on. Am I able to do a parasite cleanse? Like how much do I give her? Like, I just, I want to know all of that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. And how old is your daughter? She's seven. She was diagnosed with psoriasis last year. And it so happened to happen after a pinworm infection. Mm -hmm. yeah that's really common so it sounds like your daughter's experiencing acidosis just having the body full of an environment that needs the fungal kingdom to kind of clean it up and that the bot the her kidneys are not fully functioning to be able to remove all of this so it's like coming out her skin right so um 
there's some really good herbs. So number one, she needs to be on the kid shake. We need to get her gut cleaned up and she needs to start moving into more of an alkaline diet. So getting some like all, like her breakfast, switching it over from whatever she's eating now to just fruit. And this kid shake is going to be a world of a difference. Okay. And helping her, her, um, to get the glyphosate out, to heal her, to help her gut be healthy. (laughs) Sorry, we can't say heal. Um, and then to open up her kidneys to get them filtering. And so um, the second thing is that I would recommend her doing some kind of a uh, parasite cleanse. And so I can't remember if the super cleanse are is really um, like if a, if a seven-year-old is can take it, but we, there is a really good brand called BioRay Kids. And there's something called Happy that um, has some really great herbs in there to help the um, kids parasite cleanse. Okay. So that would be my recommendation for your daughter. Plus the in focus, we need to support her adrenals. Yeah. And then for your, and then for you, yeah. start with a reset start with the transformation really get your body flooded with micronutrients really get all of your amino acids that are supporting yourself um and sorry guys no you're fine and then you know if you're yeah if you have any specific things that have or that are with you that are any other like do do you get headaches do you have skin stuff do you are you low energy like anything else going on for you so um definitely Um, I feel like I have a little bit of insomnia going on, low energy. I'm, I feel like anything that I eat, I'm immediately bloated, like immediately gassy. Um, my fiance says I pass gas a lot when I'm sleeping. Um, so I know there's like gut health issues that's going on, but like I said, I don't know where to start. You can't really talk about it with, you know, your traditional doctors and stuff like that. And, you know, they look at you like you're crazy um, and want to get you on like IBS medicine and all of that. And I don't want any of that. So I'm just really happy that I found you ladies because I'm trying to just go, you know, the natural route. It's it's sad, but I mean, our food and all of that, it's just garbage. You're spot on. You're in the right place. I'm so happy you're here. Um, Yeah, me too. It's not a, like you said you were a cosmetologist because you know you can this is going to be huge for so many things so you help so right. many people in that way and so let's let's like let's pour from an empty cup right and so right um your gut definitely needs to be supported with the micronutrients um but also with the parasite cleansing um it's really going to help that bloating subside but you might i mean it's not going to be all butterflies and rainbows when you first right. start you're going to be killing off an environment you might go through some more bloating and some more gassy and some stuff until you clear that out and so really stay in the course with our the guide that we give you on like the third like the first 30 days but really thinking of this like okay this is my first 30 days knowing that i'm going to have to do another parasite cleanse because they lay right. eggs when right? And then they're going right. to hatch. You got to get them again before they hatch again um, right. or before they can lay eggs again. So really no, like coming into like, okay, I'm, I'm going to focus on my, on the 60 day plan, maybe into 90 day, but for sure, 60 days of the ULT. And then uh-huh. um, I would support your adrenals with the B energetic for, for sure the first month. And then in the second month, maybe thinking about the heavy metals, just, I don't know if you color hair, but there's a lot of heavy metals in that kind of stuff. I did hair for 15 years before I got into this world. Yeah. So, um, so I actually, at work, question mark. What'd you say? I think that was someone else. Oh, yeah, you're good. Um, actually, actually, so I am the, I do men's hair and it's because I want to stay away from all of those chemicals. So I just cut men's hair. Amazing. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, yeah, but I definitely want to do, I definitely want to do like, you know, I want, I, the heavy metal detox, like I know all of that needed to be done, but I don't want to go backwards. I want to start it off on the right foot and then follow suit. So, um, yeah, I'm just happy I found you guys to kind of like direct me and, you know, for my daughter as well. Absolutely. That you're spot on. So we want to open up all the pathways first, then do the heavy metals in that second or third month, just depending on where you are, but keep coming. We have support calls every Monday and Wednesday evening. So keep coming, keep getting supported, you know, keep getting, you know, reach out to Kimberly and just, um, just like, welcome. (laughs) It sounds like you're so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.
Of course. Okay, Lori, I see your hand up next. Oh, I see your... Um, Put it in the chat, Kimberly. So your... Um, okay, sorry. Hormone balance. Yes. Um, okay. So they're really going to want to focus on the gut health. Okay, so I'm just re reading this. So hi, you're going to watch the recording. I see that you're dealing with hormone imbalance, haven't had a cycle in five months, eating pretty healthy food, but um, but not quite knowing exactly what is going on with the hormone. So there could be a whole lot of history behind this, right? Like, have you been on birth control pills? What's been going on in your life? Are you stressed? Like there's a lot that can go on, but it can always be, we can always support ourselves with micronutrient food and some hormone support. So number one, the gut needs to be supported because when the gut's supported and functioning optimally, it communicates with the rest of our body on which hormones to be making and how much of them. Um, so that's my highest recommendation is to start with the cleanse, um, just to really clear out and really just, just knowing that, okay, how long did it take you to get into this environment that your body wasn't, that wasn't communicating optimally, right? I don't know how long that was. I don't know, but just giving yourself to, some time to come into true balance at getting at the root cause. So just knowing that this might be really like amazing in 30 days, you might like get your period back. I've totally heard of that, but also it might be deeper. And so maybe the adrenals really need to be supported. Um, I don't know. So just thinking about this in like, a okay, a night, like a, a three to six month, like protocol of really, really flooding yourself with micronutrients, cleaning up the gut, um, so that you can supporting your adrenals, which are so, so important for so many things in our body. Um, so I would say the ULT, the ultimate lifestyle transformation with the B energetic, you could at like the second month, then start on the white American ginseng, um, but I would start with a B energetic if the energy levels are really, really, really low. If they're not, I would move more into starting with the, um, or not really, really low, but if you find yourself like crashing every day around two, like let's get you into the B energetic first and then moving into, um, the white American ginseng in the second month, but you could also start with the white American ginseng if you're feeling like my energy levels are, are okay. So it's a, it's a hormone balancer. It's, it's really adaptogenic in, in meaning that it's going to help support your body to make the love, the, it's going to help. It helps us balance the hormones. Um, and really cleaning up and getting into an environment where, where we're more on the alkaline side of things than we're on the acid side. So it says you're eating really healthy food, but not necessarily, um, still having some gluten, which, you know, in a perfect world, we would be eating wheat that was like not altered and not sprayed highly. But the reason that, that one reason that gluten or, um, that wheat is so toxic nowadays is because it's been altered for so many years, a, and then B it has so many, um, pesticide sprayed and it's in the gluten is so absorbent, right? Like that's like, it's so absorbent. It's so like sticky. <laughs> um, and so it, it really, really brings in, um, it holds on to those chemicals even more than like some other foods do. And so, um, even our organic wheat, they're even finding a lot of, um, excess, um, glyphosate in food that's even organic or even some of these grains that are organic. So just that piece, just because you wrote that in there, Lori, um, to really step away from some of that for a few months, just to really help the gut clean up because it also, because it's so gelatinous. And so, um, it really kind of like gets in the gut and kind of makes kind of contributes to this mucoid plaque forming that will hinder our absorption of nutrients. Um, okay. So the ULT, be energetic or the white American. All right. Thank you so much, Rachel. I really appreciate you. You're welcome. Okay. I have Alicia. Well, hello, Rachel. Uh, how are you? I am really good. And so this call is usually done at 1230. And I'm thinking that somebody might need this link right now. So let me just um, 
Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, so we, I think you're the last person I see that's that's sharing. So let's just do it quick and then we'll move on. We'll switch out so they, they can come on here. Okay, okay sure. Go ahead. Yeah, so actually my therapist um, recommended me to the call. Um, I've been experiencing like nighttime panic attack between 1 to 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm also seeing- What did you say? I'm, what I'm morning? Yes, between 1 and 3 a.m., like clockwork. Okay. Yeah, so I'm also seeing a naturopath for gut imbalances and stuff. So uh, my therapist was suggesting I might need a detox. So I'm not sure what you think about or any recommendation you'd have for me with those symptoms. Yeah, so you're, you're cutting up a tiny bit. So the parasites are, in, or sorry, the waking up in the middle of the night is highly related to parasites. So needing to detox is really, really number one. But did, what did you say about detox? Yes, she, my therapist was suggesting maybe I need a detox. So um, yes. I don't yes, know if you I have would, any suggestions. I would 100% start with a detox. Start with a ULT. Um, and really work on feeding your body food that's going to kill off the parasites, which is fruit, veggies. Okay. Um, and then bringing these, all of this, this protocol in. And then number two is just knowing that doing the first 30 days is amazing. And you're going to go through 10 days of the super cleanse R, which is a parasite cleanse, but knowing okay. that it is really highly recommended like I've been sharing to follow it up the next month to really, um, because they are going to lay eggs and, mm -hmm. um, they are gonna so we want to get them again we want to get so our program are designed like 30 oh! days. you're gonna take the 10 days in the middle and then the okay. next month, same thing so you're gonna be taking it so that you get them again before they can like lay eggs again um okay. but yeah so I have experienced that too just like waking up at night and then after doing some of these parasite cleanses now my sleep is so 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 good and I'm not waking up anymore and so you so it's the full moon now. So probably if you order today and get another one. Um, yeah, I would like highly recommend doing just if you can time it like sort of to be like sort of around the full moon that they could become more active around that time too. just I don't know if anyone knew that but it's kind of um, weird. A lot of people like don't sleep well around the full moon and it's because these parasites are more active. Um, so yeah, good luck to you. It's going to be amazing. And um, um, I would thank you. Do you mind putting the link in the chat, please? Because Yeah, who invited you here? Uh, Donna Constantino. What was her name? Donna, Donna Constantino. Donna Constantino. So I don't know. I want, I, you need to ask her what her link is and have her send okay. you. Say, okay. I was recommended to do the ULT. What's, can you share your link? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. You're yeah. Okay, All right. Bye. Bye, Bye. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to stop recording and open this up. Here we go.